For today's video, we will answer a geometry challenge suggested by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. So given a circle and two perpendicular segments that measures 10 units and 5 units, then our goal is to solve for the radius of this circle. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so I provide two specific solutions to this question, but we have a lot of possible solutions for this kind of question, but these two possible strategies is the most common for this kind of problem. So the first one is we will use the properties of a chord. And now, once we apply the properties of a chord, we will now use the power of a point or the chord chord power theorem. Now, the second method is, of course, our favorite, the Pythagorean theorem. Now, let's start with our first strategy, which is the use of properties of a chord and power of a point. Now, to use this strategy, what we're going to do is to complete this segment that measures 5 to make this a chord. Now, according to one of the properties of a chord, perpendicular drop from the center divides a chord into two equal parts. Now, we have here a chord. Now, we drop a perpendicular line from the center. Therefore, it's said to be that this chord divides into two equal parts. Now, we know the half. Half is 5. Therefore, the other half is also 5. Now, what we're going to do here is to complete this diameter. Now, let's complete this diameter like this. Now, we know from this point up to this point, we have 10 units. So, let's call the other length as n. Alright, so the diameter of this circle must be equal to 10 plus n. Now, at this point, we will use now the power of a point. This is also called as the chord-chord power theorem. Now, it says that if two chords intersect in a circle, then the product of the lengths of the chord's segment are equal. So we can say that 10 multiplied by n must be equal to 5 multiplied by 5. So we have now an equation in terms of n. We have 10n equals 5 times 5. Now 5 times 5 will give us 25. And to solve for the value of n, let's divide both sides by 10. So n is equal to 25 over 10, and 25 over 10 is just 2.5. So we get that the value of this n, this variable n, or this length right here, is just 2.5. And also take note that the radius of this circle is half the diameter. And we know the length of the diameter. This is just 10 plus 2.5, or simply 12.5. So the length of the radius is simply equal to 12.5 divided by 2 or simply equal to 6.25. And that is the length of the radius. Therefore, using our first strategy, properties of a chord and power of a point or the chord-chord power theorem, we get that the length of the radius of this circle given this condition is simply equal to 6.25 units. Now, how about the second strategy, which is the Pythagorean Theorem? So how can we use the Pythagorean Theorem in this kind of question? So to use the Pythagorean Theorem, what we're going to do is from this center, let's draw the radius of the circle and let's call this as R. So R means the radius of the circle. Now since the radius of the circle are equal, so this part is also a radius. So we can say that the length of this is also equal to R. Now, the whole segment, the whole segment equals 10, and we know this part is equal to R. Therefore, the other segment right here must be equal to 10 minus R. Now, at this point, let's focus on the right triangle, having a measures of R, 5, and 10 minus R. We can now use the Pythagorean theorem because this is a right triangle. 
So we have the hypotenuse R and the two legs measures 5 and 10 minus R. So if we use the Pythagorean theorem, we have now 10 minus R quantity squared plus 5 squared equals R squared. Now, this equation is in terms of R. So we can now solve for the value of R. Now let's simplify this one. 10 minus r raised to the power of 2. If we do this, we get 100 minus 20r plus r squared. Now, 5 squared is simply equal to 25. We know that for sure. Now, let's subtract r squared on both sides. And if we do that, we cancel out r squared on the right and the left-hand side. Now, let's combine similar terms. 100 and 25. If we add 100 to 25, we get 125. Now, let's add 20R on both sides. So, we have now 125 equals 20R. Divide both sides by 20. We get that the value of R must be equal to 125 over 20. Now, 125 over 20 must be equal to just 6.25. And that is the value of R we get a while ago. Therefore, Using any of these two possible strategies, properties of chords and power of a point, or simply the chord chord power theorem, and using the Pythagorean theorem, we get the same answer as the length of the radius of the circle must be equal to just 6.25 units given this condition. And as always, we are done.